out to all, it's Monty here, and today I have two Mannies in one video. Yes, you heard me right. The first one, I used this gorgeous mermaid glitter for this gorgeous unicorn Manny. And the second one, I actually like quite a bit better. And I used the gorgeous mermaid glitter over different neon polishes. Remember to stick around to the end of the video to see that one being done. All right, we're going to start off with a base coat. This is such a clear and it is by far the best base coat I have ever tried and probably will ever try, so I totally recommend it. Next, this is a unicorn inspired polish. And when I say unicorn inspired, I mean I thought it reminded me of unicorns. It's really sheer and thin on the first coat though, so I'm just going to be applying it over top of a white base coat. So here I am applying that creamy, sinful color, snow me white, white base coat. And here is one coat of that unicorn inspired polish. This is actually Francesca polish a new brand which is a drugstore brand you can get at a small shop by where i live so it's kind of useless to tell you even what it's called or where to find it so <laughs> unless you live by me which would be really weird okay next a quick dry top coat because we are going to be using these unicorn head nail vinyls next Okay, while we wait for that to dry, let's do our index finger and our pinky finger. We are going to be applying one coat or how many ever coats it takes to get a white polish opaque on these fingers because we're going to be doing the mermaid glitter over top of the white. And now this is actually such a clear, which is the base coat. So I repeat, do not apply a quick dry top coat here. Such a clear dries really, really tacky instead of really smooth and this is the mermaid glitter from sparkle and co it is so gorgeous and so pretty and sparkly you need to get this links will be below it is so gorgeous omg be quiet robin <laughs> And we're just going to be using a eyeshadow applicator to literally just buff in the powder. This is what we call in the nail world the varnishing technique. I did do a mani with this mermaid glitter a while ago, except that wasn't with the varnishing technique. And it really ate up the top coat and I had to do like three coats and it still wasn't opaque. So instead we're going to be doing this. And here, I'm just going to be using a fan brush to fan away the excess glitters. And it is so shifty and sparkly, I love it. Speaking of sparkles, now they are everywhere, yeah. I'm just gonna clean off my background and hope that I don't find glitter in my hair two weeks later, which I inevitably will. And now we are going to be applying top coat like usual. And it is so smooth because, yeah. <laughs> okay, back to the middle nail. We're just going to be peeling off the unicorn head vinyls from Twinkle Tea. Remember, links to all products are going to be below. Now just lay that in the middle of your nail. And next, I'm going to be applying this black polish on a sponge, because when we sponge it on, it will only leave the bare minimum of polish to make it opaque, because we are going to be putting on the such a clear over top of the black, and I don't want to make it look all streaky and stuff, which is what would happen if we just applied the black polish with the brush. Now we're just going to peel that off and let that dry for 2-3 minutes before we start buffing on the unicorn powder like we did before. I actually like the unicorn powder over top of the black more than I like it over top of the white. It looks more green bluish than pink yellow. Now again with the fan brush just go and fan that off before applying top coat again because after you do this, you, my friend, are done with your sparkle shift mane. And yes, this is just the filter, but it would be awesome if it was like that in real life, to be honest. I love this mani so much. Ugh, it is so shifty and perfect. 
Oh, you got to go check out this mermaid glitter. It is gorgeous. Okay, let's get on to the second one. We are going to be applying a base coat. In this one, I applied a peel off base coat because I did this before doing the unicorn mani. And now white polish because we are going to be using some neons. And neons always show up best over white. I don't care if the company says that they don't need white polish, cause they do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now this is the pink neon. I'm only showing you guys the applying of the pink and the orange because these two are from the drugstore brand and I've never seen drugstore brand neons that are so freaking bright. Like, look at how bright these are. They are so pretty. They are so pretty, oh my God. I think I did apply a second coat of the neons, but whatever, they're so bright, OMG. I did do a green and a purple on the other nails. Okay, now back to that seche clear, because we're going to buff in that powder, not powder, glitter. <laughs> Remember, I'm only doing this with my base coat, which is such a clear, so I have no clue how this technique works with other types of base coats. So I recommend that you experiment and do other things before trying out the full technique. Okay, again with the fan brush, it is so sparkly. I applied that filter just to show you how freaking rainbowy it really is. Shut up, Robin. <laughs> Okay, and now we are just doing it on the middle nail again. I actually like the powder over the middle nail the best. I think it looks the most shifty and rainbowy and uh, the best overall. But I could argue it looked pretty amazing over the purple and the green too. I just personally like the orange. Comment below which nail was your favorite. Okay, and a fan brush again? What? Oh my god, we're using fan brushes so much in this video. Okay, top coat it up. And let's do some stamping. All right, apply some liquid latex to your sides of your nail. And just put some black polish on, scrape it with an old um, used credit card, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it's not new, unless you're super rigid then. Make sure it's new. <laughs> and with the clear jelly stamper, you can see exactly where you're placing it on your nail. It is literally that easy to get perfect nails and perfect stamps and perfect everything. OMG. Now I'm just breaking the seal. I don't think I need a liquid latex on this one, but it's fun to peel, I don't know. I need an excuse for this, and that's my excuse, okay? That's my excuse. Peel off that liquid latex, girl. And top coat, oh my gosh, this video is so long. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram for more naily things. Remember, bye. Have a nailful day.